गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट वीडियो वी वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ न्यूक्लियो टाइड ओके एंड इच न्यूक्लियो टाइड वी लर्न दैट द कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट्स दैट इज द पेंटोज शुगर नाइट्रोजन बेस एंड द फॉस्फेट ओके एंड नाउ द टू न्यूक्लियो टाइड ज्वाइन टूगेदर टू फॉर्म द डाई न्यूक्लियो टाइड एंड इन दिस वे मेनी न्यूक्लियो टाइड्स टूगेदर ज्वाइन टूगेदर टू फॉर्म अ पोली न्यूक्लियो टाइड चेन सो वी नो दैट दिस न्यूक्लिक एसिड दैट इज द डी एन ए एंड आर एन ए कंसिस्ट ऑफ पोली न्यूक्लियो टाइड चेन सो नाउ वी विल टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ डाई न्यूक्लियो टाइड दैट हाउ अ डाई न्यूक्लियो टाइड फॉर्म ओके सो नाउ स्टार्ट द डाइग्राम अब सपोज देर इज दिस इज द पेंटोल शुगर यू नो पेंटोल शुगर देर इज This is the nitrogen base, double ring structure means pyrene base. Suppose any one, either adenine or guanine. This is the pyrene base. Now at the ninth position, we know there is the NH group found. Suppose this is the NH group, and now this is the carbon, and there is the OH. Suppose this is the H group, and now it forms the bond. there is the bond this is the glycosidic bond now we can see that the, there is forms the this this is the loss of a molecule of water loss of water and forms the n glycosidic bond Or linkage, bond or linkage. Also, we can say so by the loss of there will be the bond between this carbon and nitrogen. So carbon first carbon joins with the ninth position of the purine base. Okay. Now we will talk the now suppose this is the another sugar. This one is the another sugar. E and this is the Fifth carbon, first carbon. Now there is the CH two OH. Okay, CH two OH. There is also a OH group. There is also OH group. This is H H. There is also H. Suppose this is deoxyribose sugar. There is also H. In this way. Now, suppose there is again the another nitrogen base. Okay, this is suppose this is the another nitrogen base. Suppose this is the pyrimidine, means the single ring structure. six membered structure suppose this is a pyrimidine base and suppose this is the first carbon at the first carbon at first position at first carbon this is suppose this is the first position and at the first position there is the nh group this is nh group and now it again join with this hydrogen now you can see there will be also a loss of water that is the loss of water and it forms the n glyco sidic bond ya linkages linkage also we can say bond also we can say now this is the base plus sugar called a nucleoside there is also a base suppose this is the pyrimidine base This is the first position. 
so this sugar this is the first carbon there is the first carbon there is the second carbon there is the third carbon there is the fourth carbon okay this is the fourth carbon you can see so <laughs> there is also the first carbon second carbon third carbon fourth carbon there is the fifth carbon there is also this is the fifth carbon you can see so now this is the nucleoside sugar plus base is called the nucleoside and this nucleoside formed by this glycoside bond by the loss of a molecule of water and we know that the urine base attaches with the first carbon of sugar at this ninth position this nitrogen present at the ninth position and forms the glycosidic bond and in the pyrimidine base pyrimidine bases like the thymine or cytosine they are single ringed or monocyclic structure or six membered structure suppose this is the first position at first position there is the nh group that take part in the formation of this glycosidic bond now this two this is also a nucleoside this is also a nucleoside suppose this is adenine and now this is the sugar means the adenosine likewise suppose this is the thymine and sugar so this is the thymidine likewise and now this two nucleosides attached by a phosphate to form a nucleotide okay so now here i am writing suppose this is the phosphate there is the oh there is also the oh there is also oh and now this is oxygen there will be also a bond form this is the oh there will be also a loss of a molecule of water the bond formation occurs here also and now you can see there is also the bond formation which means the two bond there will be also one bond there will be also one bond so this bond are called the phosphodiester bond phosphodiester bond between now you see this phosphodiester bond this is the phosphate that joins with the carbon of the that carbon present at the third position of one sugar and the fifth position of another sugar means in a nucleotide in a nucleotide a phosphate joins the two nucleoside okay this is the nucleoside this one is also nucleoside the sugar plus base is called nucleoside and a phosphate joins these two nucleoside to form a dinucleotide okay so this phosphodiester bond there will be the two phosphodiester bond a one bond will be here another bond will be here so there is that is called the phosphodiester bond and this bond occurs means phosphate joins the third carbon of one sugar and the fifth carbon of another sugar third carbon of one sugar and the fifth carbon of another sugar so this phosphodiester bond of form by the loss of these two molecules of water diester bond is two ester bond form and which carbon take part in the formation of this phosphodiester bond with the phosphate so third carbon of one sugar and the fifth carbon of another sugar and it forms a dinucleotide means the two nucleotides are attached by the a phosphate or phosphoric acid we can say a phosphate group that take part in the formation of this phosphodiester bond means in a dinucleotide the two nucleosides attached together by this phosphate so this phosphate take part in the formation of phosphodiester bond with the third carbon of one sugar and the fifth carbon of another sugar okay fifth carbon of another sugar this is it 
So in last video we learned about the nucleotide and now today we learned about the dinucleotide. Okay, dinucleotide. Thank you.